Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Undertale. My name is Weasel, and we're cheering up monsters and ghosts, trying not to fight with them, and uh, trying to find our way out of this mountain. Did you miss it? Spider bakes all down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I hate spiders. I'm, I don't hate them, actually. I'm just... I, uh, I, my I have a slight phobia. Can't help it. It's nothing personal. Ribbit. All right, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Oh, that's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. There you go. I'm not skipping. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you a full screen and make the game crash for me. <laughs> Four frogs. I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Yes. Well, maybe there's a fourth frog hiding somewhere. I've heard you're quite merciful for human. Surely you know by now monsters are wear a yellow name when you can spare it. Oh, okay. What do you think of that? Very, it's helpful. Oh, very helpful. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even their name isn't yellow. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, Toriel. How's it going? I just realized that I had been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. All right. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay. Good to know. I didn't think it was limited, but now I do. There's just one switch. Okay. Just one switch. Hmm. How do I know which one is the right one, though? Oh, a fight. M what? Migosp. M Migosp. Crawled up close. Hey, Migosp. Oh, shit. I didn't want to fight. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't want to fight. Ah, oh, God. Now they're angry. Sorry. Didn't mean that. All right. Migosp. Let's, let's check him out. Migosp. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Obey the overmind. Man, it's whew, busy. Busy down there. Wait, oh, pensively. Okay, amigos. Let's see. Let's let's just talk to him. I don't care. Oh, okay. I mean, I was trying. Maybe I need to. All right, mold small. I could show mercy, but him. Nope. I can't. I can't do it. Come on, buddy. I was I was trying my best here to not destroy you. Um. What if I? Hmm. Let's well, just show mercy. All right. Spare. Swing your arms, baby. Oh, he's... Look up. He seems amused. Migos doesn't have a care in the world. Well, let's spare him. I apparently I made him happier, so I have no idea what I just did. All right, we're just falling down the hole, seeing where this leads. Oh, okay, it's over there. There's just one switch. I guess it's this one. That should bring me up again. What a weird contraption. Oh, there's a thing over here and there that I want to check out. There are things. Thanks. Okay. It's open now. All right. What's that? Oh, it's the ghost again. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can't fly, can't they? Yeah, they kind of do. Pfft. That was interesting. Oh, damn it. Hey, Luke's drew near. Hey, Luke's. Let's, um, don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly not pick on him. Lux is staring right through you. Oh wait, I can't actually... I think I can spare him, but... Um... Let's not pick on him. Just once more. I wonder if he... Like, if the fight resolves itself. Luke is gazing at you. Don't pick on. One more time. That's the same... Oh, shit. Same thing. Alright, let's have mercy and spare that guy. Yeah, I'm making bang here. Okay, there's some sort of vegetable in the ground, or something that I can pick up, that I would really like. What is that? It's an evil... Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, okay. Dinner, devour. Uh, let's just talk to him. Plants can't talk, dummy. Okay, I didn't know that, because you just replied to me. Okay, let's, uh, dinner. You pet your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, damn it. I should have gotten the greens, I feel. All right, let's let's try that again. Eat your greens. Let's see if I can catch the green wherever it's falling down. I think I got it. 
It smells like steamed carrots and peas. And I think I can spare him. Yes, you won. Nice. All right. That was interesting. I'm fighting a vegetable. Not the weirdest thing I've done. What is this? It's a switch. Press it. Uh, sure. Nothing happened. Cool. What does this one tell me? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. What? It's a switch. Press it. Yeah, sure. Nothing happened. Yes. Press it again. Whatever. Okay, let's see if this changes anything. Oh. Oh, yeah. It actually just changes the rotation. What? I fell down a hole. Wait, okay. Now I'm back. So, let's say I pressed a... What? Oh, looks. Uh, don't pick on. And then show mercy. I think then we're good. Just gotta, you just gotta get him. There you go. No harm has been done. Okay, let's press the switch and walk through the door. Yes. Um. Okay, there's a hole. There was a hole here, so I'm just going to try to press this button. Nope. That one doesn't work either. Do I even have to press a button at this point? What happens if I don't press one? You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You heard a clicking sound. Yay! Success. Oh, it's a change in perspective. Get it. That's why the switch is behind the pillar. A pair of vegetoids came out of the ground. Uh, okay. Let's eat him. Or let's let him give us food or something. Uh, I just want to pick up the... There it is. Damn it. It's here for your health. Okay, one is gone. Farmed locally. Very local. Yep. Okay, throw, throw the greens at me. There you go. Damn it. Well, now he can go. I'm down to 8 HP. I wonder if I level up at one point. That'd be great. What do you want me to do now? It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Alright, the red switch did the trick. Nice. Progress. Oh. Okay, let's try this one. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. I wonder where it brings me. Looks drew near. Hmm. Pick on, don't pick on. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead with... Don't pick on. You earned five gold. I'm earning more and more gold as I go along. Ooh. What's this? All right, I have to make choices. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hey there. Oh, you're calling me, but I'm already here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Um, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Did you get me a cinnamon bun or a butterscotch thingy? Well, first I'm gonna save this. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? No? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Um... I don't think I want to live here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. That's nice. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is very nice. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh. And she's petting my head. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Alright, let's check. Wow. She went all out. A box of kids' shoes in disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh. Oh. I think I was just sleeping. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yay. Life is good. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Very cool. What's that? Something here? Nope. Let's check out this room. Just a regular old bucket. Oh, I didn't want to... Of snails. What is this? It's Torrid's Diary. Read the circle passage. Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I don't mind at all. What are these books? It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle one. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seeds. No s water sausages? Ah, there's a beautiful flower up there. Okay, d d doesn't care for it. 
that's fine. I wonder where she is. Where's Toriel? There seems to be a note on the door. Room under renovations. Hmm. Inside the drawers are flower seats and some broken crayons. Okay, let's see if we can find her. She must be somewhere in the house. Didn't expect to sleep. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Those books are worn. They must have read many times. I bet she's living alone here. Okay, let's see. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010 or 20... 2010-ish. Hey there. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Wow, someone is determined. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps it isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Nothing. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna ask if I can go home, I guess, because my parents are probably really worried. What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? Sure! Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Um, it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier, fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. How creative. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Oh, so they have a king. Hmm. I wonder if I meet him. For some reason, there's a brand named Chocolate Bar in the fridge. Hmm. Interesting. At least preening me, it's... Nice. All right, let's see if I can go down here. I don't want to ask her if I can't how I get out of here. Ooh, the basement. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh. Oh. Okay, you don't want me to go there. I use some sort of, okay. I'm just going to head out if you don't want to let me go down there. Wait, maybe if I go to sleep again, and wait until she sleeps, I can go down there. We should try that first. Because I'm now way too curious what she's doing there. Way too curious. Monster with a basement that I'm not allowed to go in. Alright, let's see where she is now. Maybe she's sleeping, I could check in her room. No, she's not sleeping in her room. Hmm. She's probably still in the living room. Let's let's just wonder. Do I have to drug her or something? Well, there's pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. That's okay. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters. Or she just cleans her stove. Doesn't need to be magic right away. You know what? I'm gonna ask her how to exit. How to exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. All right, where are you going? Well, now that she's out there, I'm just gonna go to the basement. Oh, hey there. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Kinda. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! No, I mean, that, that would really blow. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! I'm not going to my room. I'm going out of here. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Well, what are you going to do then? Becoming a tentacle monster? You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove me you're strong enough to survive. I guess I'm a fighting her now. Toriel blocks the way. Act. Let's check her out. Attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. Holy moly. Prepares a magical attack. Okay. Let's talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Um. This is hard. This is really hard. 
Uh, wait. Maybe do I, maybe do I have an item? Mm, I have the monster candy and the pie. You tried to think of something to say again, but to no avail. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Okay, there you go. Talk. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. What would be the solution, though? Yeah, I'm not... I... I... <sighs> Takes a deep breath. Alright, let's take... Um, let's take... Eat something off the pie. Get a butterscotch pie. HP was maxed out. I don't think I'm suppo just supposed to win this, honestly. Looks for you. Um... Wow, this is gonna take me forever to beat her, but I might be able to. Uh, yeah, I'm not good enough to beat this at all. Even if I use the monster candy. I'm not good enough to win this. I'm just gonna spare her. Nope, that doesn't work. I'm surprised. Flee. Escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. Already, what will it take for you to learn your lesson? Oh, we're fighting again? Never mind, I'm gonna flee again. Okay, so I might have to prove my strength to her by... I'm not entirely sure what I have to do. I'm pretty sure I do not have to actually defeat her. That would be weird, because that will require me to really get strong, but maybe I have to learn something. We'll see. Or I just find another way. She says it's the only one. Alright, we're gonna head out. We're gonna see where this leads. I hope this leads somewhere, otherwise I'm a little bit of a pickle here. Ooh, wow. What is this? You found the toy knife! Okay, this seems to be... Some sort of city? I have no idea. Well, alright. Maybe I can use the toy knife against her? Let's see if I can get some butterscotch pie, because I already had one in my inventory. Maybe... The size of pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Damn it. I was hoping I could get some more pie. I... You know what? I'm just gonna sleep and then I'm gonna go down. I hope that when I sleep my HP regenerates. At least that is something that would make sense somehow. There you go. Schneck, please wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. I have no idea what just happened and who was talking to me. But she seems to be still down there. Um, how do I get my C? Okay, I got my HP back. Info. Give me, give me some info on that. Weapon, attack free, made of plastic. Rarity nowadays. Who knows? Maybe I have to use the plastic knife against her. Hey there. What will it take you for to learn to? You? What? What are you doing over there, goofball? Toriel blocks the way. Okay. Item. Toy knife. You equip toy knife. Now you just have to survive this onslaught of bullet hell madness. Turbo bear is a magical attack. Okay. Fight. I have no idea how much damage I do. Basically nothing. There's n no way I'm surviving this. Maybe she has to beat me. Um, for something to happen. Who knows? Ugh, so close. I will still try my best to fight her. I would be crazy if I could actually beat her. Do you have another item? I have a... Wait, stick? You threw the stick away, then picked it back up. Why, why did I throw the stick away? What was that about? Damn it! With a little bit more HP or a little bit more health potions or something, I could actually beat her, but... I'm just gonna let her beat me at this point and see how this goes. Ugh. I mean, the game says you don't have to destroy anyone. So I assume that I can do this without it. 64. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And her attacks are not hitting me anymore. You know what? Let's try to talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. Yeah, she's not attacking me anymore. Interesting. What if I show... Okay, I can't spare her yet. Let's attack her once more. I mean, it brings her health down, but I don't want to kill her. Mercy. Okay, that gave her the rest. I hope she doesn't... Urgh. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me. Small one. Did I... Please don't tell me I killed her. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. 
Please don't die. Ascor! Do not let Ascor take your soul. Okay. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good. Won't you? My child. Aw. And I killed her! Fantastic. I think. I don't know. Did I? I broke her heart! Worst. Well... I wonder what my other option would have been to avoid that fight. Well, I got out there. I basically have, like, no health left. Like, two health. That's pretty much nothing. I wonder if I should go up and sleep again. But for now, let's just keep walking and see where it leads us. Would be a bummer. They got me now. Alright, what we got now? Oh, it's you again! Hey, hey, hey! I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it... She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Wow. This just got darker. It's got pretty dark. All right, I think we're gonna continue this in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Tutorial. Hmm.